Hi everyone, I'm Shubham Jhavar. I'm a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing J Advanced 2021, Paper 1, Mathematics. And the question for this video is this. Let there be function f defined from all real to all real, that means domain being all real values and co-domain being all real values, be defined by fx is equal to x square minus 3x minus 6 divided by x square plus 2x plus 4. Then which of the following statements is or are true? There are four statements. So we need to comment upon increasing, decreasing, in uh, you know uh, different intervals respectively whether f is on to or not and uh, range of f it is a multiple choice multiple correct type question here uh, as you three as you see f of x the denominator is not becoming zero for any value of x in fact uh, you not allow it to become zero but it is not even tending to zero for any value of x why because uh, here this is a quadratic with discriminant negative so you may write f of x as x square minus 3x minus 6 divided by x plus 1 whole square plus 3. So there is no value of x for which fx will tend to infinity or minus infinity. So that means it is definitely not onto. Now to comment upon uh, f being decreasing or increasing respective intervals, let's differentiate. So f prime x is equal to, using quotient rule, it turns out to be this. On further simplification, we get this. And uh, denominator never becomes zero. In fact, it is always positive. And what about numerator? If you take 5x common, it becomes 5x times x plus 4. So that means uh, f prime x, if you go by wavy curve uh, method of uh, understanding, f prime x is uh, increasing for x greater than zero. It's decreasing between minus 4 to zero and uh, it's uh, in, it's uh, you know increasing uh, for x less than minus four. F prime x is uh, positive for x greater than zero and uh, for x less than minus four, and it is negative between minus four to zero. So that means f x is appropriately increasing and decreasing in respective intervals. So here, f is decreasing in this interval minus two open to minus one open absolutely. F is increasing in the interval one open to two open absolutely f is not on to that's what we had already discussed range of f in this interval minus 3 by 2 closed uh, uh, i mean uh, range of f is minus 3 by 2 close to 2 close let's check so uh, first it is increasing so try to understand that as you plot the graph so there is no discontinuity anywhere it is defined for all uh, values of x why because denominator is not becoming zero for any x so here uh, as x tends to minus infinity, fx uh, tends to 1. Uh, however, it tends to 1 from above. How can we say that? Uh, as x tends to minus infinity, x square from numerator, denominator, they like kind of tie, kind of. And, uh, you know, minus 3x, as x tends to minus infinity, will be something positive, and 2x will be something negative. So that means numerator will be a bit more than denominator. Of course, the uh, dominating terms would be the x square in numerator and denominator. So here, it's just about whether it will uh, tend to 1 plus. That means little more than 1 or little less than 1. So it, it tends to little more than 1 when x is tending to minus infinity. And numerator would have two roots, one negative and one positive. So clearly, uh, you know, it will somehow somewhere move like this. And uh, from 0 onward, uh, you know, it is increasing. So uh, here it, it increases like this and it will go something like this. Now uh, at infinity, it tends to 1 from below. Yeah, uh, which you can understand from here also. It will not go above and then come down. Why? Because it is uh, increasing for x greater than 0 consistently. So that clearly means that uh, the range of f would essentially be the, low, the minimum values f of 0 and the maximum value is f of minus 4. Why? Because this uh, here derivative is becoming 0 at x equal to minus 4 and here derivative is becoming 0 at x equal to 0. So uh, f of 0 essentially is, as you put x to be 0, don't put here, put here, f of x uh, value is what we are looking for. So minus 6 by 4, it essentially becomes minus 3 by 2. And when you put x to be minus 4, f of minus 4 turns out to be 11 by 6. You can put x to be minus 4 in this expression. So that means our range is minus 3 by 2 close to 11 by 6 closed and not minus 3 by 2 close to 2 closed. So D is also not correct. 
So E and B are the answers. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next question.